in your Bible, sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, he's the lady of the valley, bright and morning song, sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, he's the Lord of every nation, oh how I love him, how I love him, he's the lady of the valley. Sweet. 
Jesus said it. Jesus said it. Jesus said it. Jesus said it. Believe on me. Believe on me. Believe on me. Believe on me. Out your belly. Out your belly. Peace. 
when my friends walk away from me. Jolisha needs my heart. When I'm struggling with what I'm going to do with my life. He's my all. And I got too many things coming at me at one place at one time. Christ is my all. He says, I'm the way. <laughs> Look at somebody and say, he's the only way. You can try some other stuff, but Christ is the only way. Not only is he the only way, but he's the only true God. There's a world where in so many other gods. There are so many people that are turning around and walking away from Christianity. The Bible says in the last days, there's going to be a great falling away. There's going to be so many other religions to rise up. And how many of you know that at the end of the day, the Bible says that every knee should bow every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And then he says, not only am I the way and not only am I the truth, but I'm also the life. Oh, he says, I come that you might have life and that you might have it more. More. Look at somebody say more, more, more. Come on, keep saying more, more, more in your household, more in your finances, more in your body, more in your mind, more concepts, more, more, more. Every time you get a new idea, he's going to give you something else. Every time you come up with a great thought, he's going to give you something else. Every time you need sick, every time you need healing, he's going to do it again. More, 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 more. Every time you have a need, he's going to give you more. Every time John the 16th chapter it says that um, I have told you these things so that in me you would have what? Peace. Uh -huh. There's going to be some trial. There's going to be some tribulation. But at the end of the day he says I'm going to give you peace. It's going to be the kind of peace that you didn't have to work for. You didn't have to earn it. You didn't have to pay for it. It was nothing that you could do except accept him. Look at somebody in the eye and tell him you got to let him in. And have not only have I told you these things that you may have peace, but he says in this world you will have trouble. I come to let you know that you're gonna have to deal with some stuff, uh, some stuff that you're not gonna always like. It's gonna be some stuff on your job that you're gonna have to face. It's gonna be somebody that you might have to sit next to in your house uh, that you might not want to deal with. But at the end of the day, he says, take heart. In other words, be encouraged. Don't you get stuck where you are? Don't you get frustrated with where you are? Look at somebody and say, be encouraged. Why are you going to be encouraged? Because he says, I have overcome the world. And he goes on a little further. He's given us some indications that there are going to be some things that you're going to have to face in this life. He says it like this in Job chapter 14 and verse 1. Man that is born of a woman is of a few days. Um, and those days are filled with trouble. That means you've got something going good at one time and then all of a sudden it looks like you got 10 things that go wrong. Uh -huh. You get your car fixed and get it good and running and then all of a sudden your tires are starting to trip you. After you get your tires done, if you need that, then you need an oil change. Come on somebody. After you get your oil change, now you're trying to figure out what's wrong with your brakes. If it ain't one thing, it's another. If you don't have a trial at your house, you'll have it on your job. If you don't have it on your job, the devil will start messing with your finances. If you're not messing with your finances, then you start trying to mess with your body. Whatever you do, don't get stuck because many are the afflictions of the righteous, but my God whoop, shall deliver us out of what? Them all. Look at somebody and say, he'll take care of it all. He'll take care of it all. Oh, oh. In Luke chapter 22, he says in verse 31, he says, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, <laughs> look at your neighbor and say, whenever he calls your name twice, uh, you better pay close attention. He says, Simon, Simon, behold, look at him, pay attention here. Satan um, had desired to have you. One translation says uh, to sift you. Now most of us in the room today, we didn't live with old folk and there was some that did. But if you remember um, when they used to put the flour hallelujah in the sifter they, they used to turn it. They were trying to get everything up out of it. Can I tell you the yeah. devil's trying to get everything that you believe up out of you. If he can't get you to stop believing God, he'll get you to do other things that are against the will of God. But you've got to make up in your mind that I'm going all 
the way with the Lord. <laughs> Look at somebody that just shout all the way. Amen. Says Satan desires to sift you. He desires to have you um, just like wheat. <laughs> uh, glory to God. Uh, um, but then he goes a little further in verse 32 and he says, but I have prayed for you. Yes, sir. Glory to God. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But I have prayed for you. Huh? Yes, sir. Say it with me. But, but the, Lord the Lord has prayed for you. Prayed and for can you. I tell you, even right now, that He's praying for you. Even right now, He 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 has you on His mind. Even right now, you're saying, preacher, I got so much hell going on around me. How could you tell me that God has me on His mind? Well, He says it like this: If you can just suffer with me, uh, but for a little while, if you can go through a struggle with me. But for a little while, see, y'all gotta be careful. You dating folk and you hanging out with folk that don't know how to struggle with you. Ah, glory to God. Everybody wanna be on the other side of what you're going through. Everybody don't want nobody wants to stay where you are in your mess and your struggle. But every now and then, if you really love somebody, you're gonna have to hold on to them while they're dirty, dusty, and broke. Oh, glory to God. You're gonna have to hold on to them because somebody gotta love them. right now because tomorrow will be a better you it's going to be a better me it's going to be a better us uh, you've got to make up in your mind that where i am right now i won't always be can you look at somebody and type it in the comments and tell your neighbor where i am right now i'm not going to always be oh, seasons change hallelujah seasons change i said uh, one day you'll look up it's hot outside and then you wake up and go outside and you got to run back in the house because dog it's all of a sudden cold outside and just like that that's how god is going to turn things around one day you're going to wake up and everything about you is going to be different your money is going to be different your home is going to be your emotions, that thing that's been bothering you, it ain't gonna bother you no more because all of a sudden, what? The seasons are gonna change. Uh, look at somebody in the eye with the serious eye and tell them the seasons are changing for you. Uh -huh. And then when he says, Jesus is saying now, but I pray for you um, that your faith fail. Now, let me run back over here. You know, when you, you, you ever had somebody anointed Andre who walk up to you, just put their hand on your shoulder and say, praying for you doc and you felt the love of God yes. but that don't compare glory to God to when Jesus says I'm praying for you oh God help me today see when you pray for me you might be praying your will <laughs> when you pray for me you might be praying what you want to see God do but when Jesus prays for you he prays the will of the father um, that, that simply means that you can't help but win when Jesus prays for you um, I remember a scripture that Jesus says like this. I thank God because he always hears me. I thank my father because he 